Sawadikap, I'm JP Mistanza. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The top five areas in southern Thailand with the most unsold property units are all located in Phuket, according to the National Real Estate Information Center, the REIC. The report was released yesterday and says that in the first half of 2020, Phuket had the highest number of unsold accommodation units in the south, with just over with just under 9,000 units, while the total number of unsold units throughout southern Thailand was over 17,000. The combined area of Bangtao and Surin on Phuket's central west coast has the highest number of unsold properties in all 14 provinces with, in the south, with over 1,800 unsold units. The second worst in the south was the combined area of Tepkasatri and Sisuntron with over 1,400 unsold units. Then the combined area of Nayang and Maikau is in third with over 1,300 unsold units, followed by Kokeo and Rasada with over 1,000 unsold units. The report gave the average estimated value for each unit as 3 to 5 million baht. According to Boon Yon Sakun, former chairman of the Phuket Real Estate Association and chairman of the company behind Boat Lagoon, he said, quote, This crisis is the worst in many years for the Phuket economy, as the gross provincial product or GPP of Phuket is about 400 billion baht, which is mostly from tourism. Meanwhile, Bangkok business operator who invests in Phuket, Isara Boon Yong, said, quote, Phuket tourism may gradually improve as officials and private companies are coming to have seminars on the island instead of going abroad. This will help Phuket in the short term. However, Mr. Isara added, tourism business operators must reduce their prices by over 50% to attract Thai tourists. But the weakness of the distance from Bangkok is still a big factor to take into account. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A proclamation in yesterday's Royal Gazette now makes it official and states that cocaine, opium, and 100 other substances have been decriminalized for research and medical purposes. The 1979 Narcotics Act classifies 102 substances as Category 2 drugs, including cocaine, morphine, opium, and fentanyl, with yesterday's proclamation allowing for the restricted sale and possession of these substances. Government organizations will be allowed to possess and use these substances for medical treatments and research, along with approved pharmacies and health workers like pharmacists, dentists, and veterinarians, according to Coconuts Bangkok. It's all part of Thailand's recent shift into loosening restrictions on certain drugs, including the 2018 laws that allowed for medical marijuana in Thailand. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Over 300 seeds of Thailand's national tree are now sitting in a compartment on SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on their way to the International Space Station where they will be planted as part of a research project. The rocket was launched from the Kennedy Space Station in Cape Canaveral, Florida at 7.27 a.m. local time along with four astronauts. It was NASA's first full-fledged mission to send a crew into orbit on board a privately owned spacecraft. Thailand's national tree is the Rachapruk, and the seeds will be cultivated for four months on board the ISS as part of an environmental research project testing spacecraft systems to eventually conduct long-term missions on the Moon and Mars in the future. Scientists will observe farming in a zero-gravity environment, and after four months, the seeds will be returned to Thailand. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. The Lagoon Saloon Phuket, the LSP, is Phuket Boat Lagoon's newest nighttime venue catering for all private parties. Get in touch via Facebook to discuss. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thailand's highest court has upheld a 50-year prison sentence against the ex-governor of the Tourism Authority of Thailand over a bribery case in connection with the Bangkok International Film Festival from the early 2000s. Back in the early 2000s, 73-year-old Jutamas Siriwan was found guilty by the lower courts, courts of up to 11 charges, including collusion, malfeasance, and bribery, and it was reaffirmed this week by the Supreme Court. According to the prosecutors, Jutamas demanded 1.8 million US dollars from an American pr film producer couple, Gerald and Patricia Green, in exchange for a contract to organize the annual Bangkok International Film Festival from 2002 to 2007. She was sentenced along with her daughter, who received 40 years in prison. 
The scandal brought much embarrassment to the Tourism Authority of Thailand, an agency tasked with oversight over the country's lucrative tourism industry. The entire Darasumut underpass near the Central Festival intersection will be closed to traffic from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. this Sunday, November 22nd, while the Phuket Highway's office carries out its regular inspections and maintenance to the electrical control, water pump, and light systems in the tunnel. And three new COVID-19 cases in Thailand today, all of them foreigners who recently arrived into Thailand, including an Indian national who arrived on a cargo ship from the Philippines, as well as two British nationals who arrived via connecting flights from Dubai. The new total is now 3,878 for the nation, with 94 patients currently being treated in hospitals nationwide. And the death toll remains 60. Thank you for watching Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.